I have a new version of my Creature Eye Kit available. I'm going to show you how I like to install it. Hi, I'm Gazool and welcome to my lair. It's been three years since I uploaded my first Monster Eye tutorial, and in that time I've learned a lot about teaching and making my kits more user-friendly. My goal in this new kit was to listen to feedback, simplify the process, and eliminate the points of potential failure to maximize your possibility of success. Let me show you what I came up with. So here you can see I've built a little demo piece of just the eye section of a mask or a fursuit so that we can easily see the inside and what I'm doing. Um, you can see I already have one of the domes installed. Uh, my plan is to be able to leave that open so I can switch out the irises, but um, I'll show you how I do the eyelids and install the mesh. So here's some examples of some of the new eye shapes I have. Um, some without any texture on them, so you can just paint whatever texture you want. Um, and some different size eye pupils, so a thin slit or a, a larger round pupil. But they're pretty much the same as my other kit. They, like in the, the style of the iris, they just have like the extended sclera and are hollow on the inside to really push that depth of the pupil and also make it a little bit lighter. See, the depth of the pupil gets, gets really good when you put a little piece of black material or fun foam in the back to block the light. I also painted the inside of this one black. Um, it, it really just creates that depth that I love so much about this style of eye. Here's an example of the eye um, being inserted into the dome. You can see the effect that it has where the eye is really focused and it has a cool view from the side that you can see as well. You can see a little bit onto the sclera and it, it can have the depth that you want to. What, what I really also like about this is you can customize the the look of the eye by just simply rotating it around um, various different positions by just rotating it in the dome like can create a variety of different looks and personalities. Now with this eye you can see the different shaped pupil that you can paint or you can even carve it out with a dremel but I really like that you can still see some of the sclera and you can rotate it around for different uh, looks. Um, it's just a really versatile system, I feel. So let's show you how to install it. You'll need the pieces of the eye kit, the, the painted uh, iris, the dome, and the mesh. The first step would be to cover the dome in plastic just to protect it while we form the eyelid. So I want to first get that dome positioned in a place where I like it. So just setting the eye in there and, and figuring out where I want the pupil pointing and stuff. Um, and we just need to temporarily hold it in. So a little bit of tape will do just that. So this is black warbler. There's a shiny side that has a little bit more glue in it and a dull side. So we're going to cut a strip of that and start heating it up on with the shiny side or the sticky side up. I just used a piece of cardboard to keep the heat from warping my cutting mat. The goal of what I'm going to do is try to roll over the edge to create a little bit of a rounded edge uh, that feathers off to the, the flat side. So now that it's rolled, we're just going to shape it around the eye um, using the, the, the sticky part of the warbler is enough to hold it in place against the foam. 
um, but it's not sticky enough that if you don't like the shape that you made, you can pull it off and reheat the warbler and try to shape it again. But I have found that the um, the adhesive in the warbler is enough to hold it in place. And you can see how fast that came together. That's why I love using this black warbler. The black is the color that I would want it to be in the first place. Um, and and it sets really quickly and you can edit it if, if you mess up. You can just pull it off and heat it up again and reshape it. Um, it's much faster than and cleaner than epoxy sculpt, which is a popular option that a lot of makers use. Um, you could also probably use fun foam in this situation. It just won't hold its shape quite as well. Here I'm just, I just heated up the warbler again and I'm using a tool to scratch the surface to add just a little bit of a, a skin-like texture to it. It's definitely an optional step. So now that the lid is complete, it's time to set the eyeball, the, the dome, into place. So here, I, I was just kind of trying to decide which eye I wanted to put in there and what position I wanted it. Once I found that position, um, I just propped it in place and dropped a little uh, hot glue around the edges. Um, be careful that you don't use too much hot glue so it won't like leak through to the front. Um, but I found that like two or three places of contact with the hot glue are enough. So now I'm going to move and insert the mesh. You see my eye hole on this example isn't as big as the piece of mesh that you, you will get in the kit. So I trimmed it down and it, it's just basically um, the process of, of slowly going around edge to edge and gluing it down. Um, since it is a mesh, the hot glue will press through and burn your fingers if you're not careful. Um, I recommend getting a little tool to help push down the mesh. It is a little bit of a process and there there's a bit of finesse that goes on at this step but um, it depends on the the shape of your vision hole to know exactly how to put it in shape so I can't give you any uh, tips other than just go slow and uh, check it at every stage So to put the the iris in, I just took a little two dabs of hot glue along the back edge uh, is enough to hold it in. Um, to really hold it in, I just took a, a bigger section of black warbler and heated it up to form around the thing. Now this is nice since it's already the black color, it'll block out um, all the light around the eye so that it gives it a nice complete look from the front. The And the black warbler adhesive will also strengthen that connection and keep it set in place even better. Again, if you mess up, it's real easy to pop it off and redo it. And that's how I install the eyes.
So I hope this update is helpful for your creature and fursuit creations. I'm always open to hearing feedback or suggestions, so if you have them, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you. Remember, you can find links to buy these eye kits for yourself down in the description. With that, I'm Kazool, reminding you to embrace your inner beast.